Good day, everyone. I'm about to show a new firmware uh, to the Radio DT GD77. They just released it one hour ago. And uh, here is the source in the Facebook. Uh, we have these new new things here. We have a VFO mode. We have increased contact list. We have increased number of scan list in channel list. We have DMR ID database. I don't know what this is. Uh, fixed previous books. Don't distortion audio problem. I just upgraded this and this just changes the way of the radio working uh, way better than it was. A lot better. This radio will wipe out 100 to 0. DOIT radios and other radios because now it has VFO mode what the other radios don't have a proof of the concept there is the change log here VFO mode contact ID uh, they have expanded to 1000 I do have a contact ID list on my web page uh, I do have a script what done uh, every day a new contact list from the new IDs of the Finland only Finland IDs they will fit in the memory at this moment of doing this video it will have a, a bit over 600 contacts on Finland so they will fit there and uh, scan list channel list they have increased this also to 64 this is one biggest thing and biggest problem what we was having 64 contacts we can now add on the single zone this is very very good update and uh, when we upgrade this we need to wipe out a little of settings and the way of the contact list works they have been also changed you can now also change the DMR ID from radio by doing this pressing these three buttons uh, you don't need computer to program radio you just need a code plug and program like 10 radios and put the ID on the radio you don't need a software for that and uh, there is also this distorted audio box <laughs> That has fixed it, and that is working. Here is the software, and to show, here is the Arax crop list, and uh, there is 14. I can add here there is on, wait a minute, second what they did change yeah the scan list, sorry sorry, not Arax group scan list here is the scan list oh, this is mess up this is totally mess up I need to redo this yeah, you can add scan list channels, as many as you want. And also contact list, contact list, here, a proof of concept, 624 contacts, and it is working, it is working. Also, you have these two VFOs, and they are working as well, I have programmed it. VFO A to work on 2 meter band with this uh, this normal settings you can also add a shift here to repeater you can do this all on the radio as well you don't need to do this here and uh, contact name uh, for the uh, parrot to testing and VFO B I have added 
the analog channel of uh, 70 centimeters. These frequencies is the default ones. They are not intended to work that way. So there, the, this is the normal mode. It is working fine, and there is no audio. Oh yeah, the well, light. There is no audio distortion problem. Oh, I'm very sorry of poor quality of this camera. Oh, let's let's see if we can do something about this. This camera, we don't see the. Oh no, how do I video this with this this? Maybe I just pause it and uh, take the light off. Okay, I I did this the took the light off of the radio to get the the camera. Uh, this is annoying. We cannot get a focus on this this. Okay, here is it. Okay, all I is working how it's supposed to. And if we press this this arrow, we get the VFO mode. And I can just type any frequency here, like this: one four four nine six two five zero. This is the Simplex repeater testing one. And if I key to PTT, oh, you see test. It is. <laughs> it is working. I never believe that they are going to do this. And if we take the other VFO and uh, this is the VFO B, it should be analog, seventy centimeters. Yeah. Let's take the volume a bit down. You can have seventy centimeters here. Analog. It is like a normal radio now. You don't need a PC to program this these channels now. And uh, let's go to the analog. Two me. Uh, sorry, digital mode. This is digital. The two meter. We can radio set. Oh, sorry. Radio config. We can set here color code. We can set slot. We can set everything here. Shift frequency. This is for the repeater. We can put any 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 shift frequency and uh, shift the direction as well. It's off, plus and minus. Frequency step. We can also change that. Where I have six point two two five because the repeater step. Channel type. You can set FM DMR here. So you can change even the way of it working. So this firmware will <laughs> a lot better than this radio. This radio okay, this radio has a bit better sound, but in functions, this radio will win 100 and 0 because the VFO mode, the big scan list, and the improvements what they are doing right now to the next firmware, they are planning on. Let's let's show a next update what they are planning to do. They are planning to do promiscuous mode. To ignore all, all uh, talk groups, different language on CPS, a 5 volt USB desktop charger. This is very important one because the 12 volt ones, they are a bit dangerous because the USB port are connected <laughs> to the 12 volt. And um, 
there is a wish list also. They are planning to do a new antenna for it. I have been using this, well, this new long antenna. I have been using this on VHF and it works quite good. I can get uh, easily 35 kilometers on digital mode with this on the uh, not so good repeater. Let's talk like this. And and this is the RX group list what I was talking about. VFO mode. This is the wish list, but they are already uh, done. Uh, some of them. They have improved this radio so much. This is very, very good. So, this button, you just change it. Let's open the local analog repeater, see if that works. Yeah, it works. OH1C testas. Ei enempää toimenpiteitä. Kiitoksia. Yeah. It, it is working like before. We have these new marks there. Um, I'm very sorry of this camera quality. I should have been doing with other, other mobile phone. If I go to the... Here. This is now no analog for some reason, but anyways, there is the talk talk. Uh, uh, sorry, the time slot is showed here, so you know where you are sending. Well, thank you very much. This is Oscar Hotel One Echo. Oscar Hotel One Echo from Finland, and uh, I'm thankful for most of the people who has doing this firmware and uh, we have a lot of people using this radio and this is a big improvement this is a big improvement so thank you for watching the video